Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can automate some of your keyboard operations using Python. So first of all, let's talk about the task that we are going to automate. So first of all, I'll show you that how you can create hotkeys using some lines of Python command. Now for all those who don't know what are hotkeys, hotkeys are keystroke or combination of keystrokes when pressed perform a specific operations. Let's say that I want to open Google Chrome by the press of shift plus G. Okay, so you can do that. I'll show you in this video. Then I'll show you that how you can record your keystrokes. Let's say that you want to write whatever you are writing on your keyboard from this moment to last 10 minutes or until a certain key is pressed. Okay, so I'll show you that also and then I'll show you that how you can write automatically anywhere like let's say that a certain thing or a certain text is written on a text file you have extracted that in a variable and then you want to type it into your ID or your CMD okay so these are the three tasks that we are gonna automate so First of all, let's see what is the system requirement. You need only one package to be installed, which is called keyboard. So open command prompt and just write pip install, uh, sorry, pip install keyboard and press enter. This package will be installed for you. Okay. Now let's get to our notebook so that we can write those commands. Okay. Okay, so now we are into our notebook. So first of all, let's import our required library, which is keyboard. Okay. No error occurred. Okay, so now let me show you how to create a hotkey. So first of all, we'll call our keyboard module here. So and then from the keyboard module, we'll call the add hot key function here. Add hot key. Then the first parameter of this function is the combination of keys that you want to add. Let's say that we want to write a specific test text after we press B plus H. Okay, so don't worry. I'll show you that how these thing will work. Just wait for a second. Then the second parameter is the task that you want to perform by the press of these hotkeys. So I'm creating a lambda function which will simply type something. Okay, so we are gonna write keyboard dot write which will write on anything which is present on our screen. So I'll write I know Python only. Okay, so don't worry. I'll sh I'll explain you once again. So keyboard dot wait and we are gonna wait for the escape key which means that this program will run in the background until and unless this escape key is pressed. Make sure that this E is capital. Okay, so let's run this. And okay, so we are having an error because this should be lambda, a lambda function. Let's run this again. Okay, so it's running in the background. Let's open a new text file and write the combination which was B plus H. So I'm writing B plus H. I know Python B plus H B plus H B plus H B plus H and escape key our program has been terminated okay so no I don't want to save this okay so our first task is achieved to how to create a hotkey now let me explain you once again what these parameters are okay so first of all we have imported our keyboard package then we have used our keyboard dot add hotkey function to add the hotkey the hotkey here is b plus h you can add shift ctrl any of the keys present in your keyboard then then the task that this uh, hotkey will perform is this lambda function which is just simply writing i know python on the keyboard using the keyboard dot write function okay so pretty simple now let's come to our second task which was to record whatever 
has been written on a keyboard okay sorry whatever you are writing on a keyboard okay so let's create a rk function and then we are writing keyboard dot record first we were using keyboard dot hotkey function and here we are using the record function so this recording will be done until uh, let's say our shift key has been pressed so let's write shift so when this program is executed this rk variable will store whatever i am writing on keyboard until and unless this shift key is pressed okay so let me comment down this uh, these lines and let's simply print our rk variable so that we can see okay so let's save this and run this let me open a new uh, file here and write hello i am writing just to check this program okay so now let's press our shift key and there you can see these are the events that were performed there you can see even the keyboard events have been recorded whenever the button was pressed and it was uplifted okay so this was the second task of how you can record your keystrokes now i'm gonna show you a more perfect way to store those data just wait for a second let me close this one okay so now you have recorded your keystrokes let's say that you want to print those keystrokes on your screen again okay so i'll simply write keyboard dot play dot play and then i'll write the variable or the text that we want to display and then the second uh, parameter is the speed the speed factor let's say 10 okay so let's save this and let's run this let me open a new file here and i am writing hello i am here now let me press this shift key and there you can see this was written automatically i was not typing on the keyboard this hello i am here was written automatically okay so the output of this keyboard dot record function is the keyboard events that i have shown you uh, let me show you once again print rk okay so let's press press the shift button and there you can see that this was the output from our um, this keyboard dot record function the keyboard events were the output so what i have done here is i have printed those text again by using keyboard dot play okay so this is it this is what i have promised at the start of the video this is how to create a hotkey i have promised how to record the keystrokes and i have also promised how to automatically write something from your keyboard okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye